Nice to meet you. My name is Jung Bo Ho. I'm working in Department of Prostonics, School of Dentistry, Busan National University. First of all, thank you for visit our PNU Digital Dentistry Symposium. Uh, we are proceeding because of the COVID pandemic 19, but I'm so happy because we all together attended these meetings and discussing the advanced technology in digital dentistry. So my title is Implant Abutment Level Impression Using Digital Superimposition of Abutment. This title is look like very uh, difficult contents, but Frank said to be, to be frank, easy contents. Uh, don't worry about that. So after listening this lecture, and you can adapt uh, in your clinics simply in this procedure. So before proceeding my main lectures, I would like to discuss about the implant impression techniques. As you know, implant impression techniques can be classified into two broad categories. The first is method of obtaining impression at abutment level, and the second is method of obtaining an impression and picture level. Both of these methods and disadvantages, but I am making a final process by obtaining an impression at the picture level in the clinic first, and then making or selecting an abutment, and then retaking the abutment level impression. In this lecture, I will briefly look at the lesion. Usually, uh, implants are classified into external connection and internal connection types according to the connection structure between picture and abutment. It seems that many dentists around the world prefer the internal connection type implant. How about you? Anyway, although there are many advantages, the internal connection type has a larger connection contact area between the picture and the abutment than the external connection types. And the connection structure is considered to be slightly more complicated in internal connection type. In particular, the area touched by most staple area is long, so there may be making made some uh, side effect, uh, such as settling effect like this. Look at this right picture. I think the trend is different for each country, but to be frank, I don't know your country situation, but uh, it is recommended to use the implant picture and abutment made by the same manufacturer. The more staple part of each company is processed identically, but the lower connection part shows a slight difference, especially in this hexagon, internal hexagon part have the different shapes according to the companies. If the picture and abutment are used by other companies, the probability of misfit increases, and uh, if the occlusal force acts, the settling effect may be large in these cases. So there are so many dangerous uh, factors uh, if you use the different company's component. This is my study slide. So the pit of the most tapered side in the structure that have no internal hexagon part was excellent. It was a picture and abutment of the different manufacturer. So if we use the one body abutment, that means the screw and abutment is one body. So in that case, you can uh, use the different manufacturer product. But if we use the two pieces, uh, two pieces of abutment, there are some dangerous points. Let's take a look at uh, how the abutment and picture are joined by screws. When torque is burst, first applied to the screw, the head is fixed, and the lower part of the screw is elongated, like this. So as the length of the screw increases, the force to return to its original state will be increased. This force is the clamping force that holds the abutment and the picture. However, as described above, as the screw is fastened, wellness is generated on the surface due to friction, and the mold taper is crushed, resulting in a loss of part of the preload that was initially applied. So we have to do the retalk to elongate the screw one more time. So every clinician, uh, you have to do the retalk after 10 or 20 minutes. In many studies, it was reported that about 30% of the initial talk applied at the beginning was uh, instantaneously reduced. So it is reported that the reduction uh, can be uh, produced to about 20% by applying the talk. 
So in clinical practice, various methods are mixed to increase initial talk and try to completely connect the abutment so that thinking does not occur. In my case, I always applied the continuous pulse about 30 newton per centimeter applied for 20 seconds. That means I applied the continuous pulse during 20 seconds. And then I made the provisional restoration and then uh, give the occlusal load to the provisional restoration. That is the reason why I want to uh, position uh, abutment to the picture uh, properly. So if you don't have any provisional restoration, I recommend to bite cotton roll. Yes, that is cotton roll biting uh, can, uh, can be helpful to position uh, abutment to the picture properly. When we take the impression, do we tighten the screw with 35 Newton? When a dental technician makes an uh, implant prosthesis, does the abutment be sufficiently torqued to wrap analog to attach it? How about your situation? So actually not. They cannot tighten properly in the laboratory. Some studies one that sinking or misfit of the prosthesis that can occur during these various clinical processes can be as high as 0 0.5 45 millimeter error. When I searched recent research, most taper connections with a straight and angulate abutment show the lowest misfit value. The higher tightening torque make the increased fit of the implant abutment interface. As you know, according to the tightening pores, the micro gap between abutment picture will be different. So uh, every procedure to make the final processes Every step of screw tightening is very, very important. The pulse is important to reduce these gaps. There are so many researches about that. So with the development of digital technology, the technique of making customized abutment and final processes at once with a single picture level impression is developing. I think that you also write the single uh, pixel level impression to make the final processes. But if you use only single pixel level impressions, it makes the misfit of the impression copings and misfit of the abutment. Finally, that makes the big error to make the final processes. If the connection of impression copying is not properly performed or if the procedure is performed without accurate recognizing the situation, where the copying is not properly connected due to surrounding bone interference, the customized abutment cannot be pro produced according to the actual planned location and shape. Look at these pictures. You planned wrapped thing, and then the final product was like the right thing. You can see the error, rotational error, and then the shape's error. In other words, I emphasize that implants have a structure in which several components are connected to each other. So in order to minimize errors, it is a wise technique to retake impression of each connected structure in stages. It is the same whether it is a catechem work or conventional fabrication method. In particular, for internal connection type implant, it is recommended to connect and check first if you are making a customized abutment, as there is a possibility that misfit may occur due to insufficient screw tightening. Look at these pictures. After making the customized abutment, I could uh, find out the error of position. I was proceeding the reduction of the abutment to have proper shapes and proper height, and then retake one more time. So that is the abutment level impression techniques after adjusting the abutment. Errors that occur while connecting the abutment are always likely to occur in the process of taking impression or working on the model. Therefore, in the case of patients sensitive to occlusion or a case that requires precision while using an internal connection type implant, a customized abutment is pro produced through a picture level impression and then abutment level impression is obtained. After doing, an abutment level impression is highly recommended. So I will uh, go through another uh, topics. I believe that 
you are totally understand the disadvantage or harmful factors in only picture level impression technique. So you need the abutment level impression. Anyway, through the development of digital uh, technology, we commonly use the digital impression in clinic nowadays. Digital impression have many advantages. In particular, in the previous study, digital impression were more convenient and require less procedure time. And there was no significant difference in treatment results compared to conventional methods. In recent years, such digital impressions have become a common technique in dentistry. As you know, various impression copings have been developed for digital impression. So there are so many products in our countries, and I believe that your countries have many product impression copying, and their shapes and material are also various. However, what is common is that there is a scan reason with a structure in which the scan data and pre-designed libraries can be well superimposed. The scanning process is very simple because there is no need to scan or impression copying. And the library with over shape and location information can be superimposed by scanning only the upper scan region. You can see the upper scan region in this uh, scan bodies. They have unique shape to uh, easy to make the superimposition, right? So in our hospital, in our university, abutment level digital impression are generally performed using these principles and the effect on superimposition between impression data and existing skin data have been sufficiently reviewed. So uh, this lecture was made in, uh, this report was made in this lecture. In general, clinician often uh, experience cases where it is difficult to obtain an accurate impress impression in abutment with subgingival margin. As you show these pictures, uh, there was no misfit in the radiographic uh, pictures, but this patient uh, complained about repeated swelling and then uh, put packing around the implant. So after, when I uh, remove this uh, final processes, I could find out the bad margin area. That means uh, in the final process is made with overhanged over margin. So that kind of unpeeling the final processes uh, make the full oral hygiene, especially there are so many calculus around the abutment. So accurate margin impression makes it possible to fabricate a processes that has no side effect and does not cause peri-implantitis. So I think that it's very important to take precise margin impression. However, when using the internal scanner, the scan is often unclear if the proximal surface of abutment is deep and narrow or the abutment has a sub-gingival margin. As you shown this picture, although we, I inserted the gingival cord uh, around the implant abutment, but this internal scanner cannot detect the precise margin of the abutment like this. So, uh, although we do careful procedure, but we cannot make the good final result. So I was able to obtain data showing a clear margin by superimposition the customized abutment scan data that was scanned in advance. And the data obtained by simple impression without inserting Jingji cord in the CAD program. Using this superimposed data, I am manufacturing a precise prosthesis. Can you see the uh, definite margin in the right side pictures? I recently reported this method to the Journal of Prosthetic Dentistry, recent, that is the international very famous uh, article, as you know. Look at the example of the cases. So if we use the stock abutment, that was fabricated by company. Uh, before connect this abutment to the picture, you have to scan, pre-scan, and then uh, save the CAD software first. And then uh, in clinic, you scan only the upper part of abutment. Especially, you have to include the slot area. And then you don't mention about taking the margin area because you already take took the margin impression 
previously. So in CAD software, you can merge the pre-scanned data and then clinically uh, impression data very simply. You touch the two point and automatically the CAD program match each uh, two uh, data automatically. So you can see the different margin left figure like this. So although you take only upper side of abutment impression, but finally we can get the definite margin uh, impressions. Through this procedure, we can get the uh, precise processes finally. So uh, recent, uh, we, recent, I applied this technique in the customized abutment. But as you know, customized abutment has various shapes. So it's very difficult to merge each other. So we made the idea to make the slot area in the abutment. You can see the two kinds of slot in the lower pictures. Using this slot area, we can superimpose easily. If there is no slot area in the customized abutment, we cannot uh, detect the similar shape or similar point or the same point. As we make the slot area, we can catch the similar shape of abutment. So it makes it easy to superimpose automatically. So upper picture is before the superimposition. The lower picture is after uh, superimposition. You can find the definite margin in the uh, lower pictures. So it's very simple clinical procedure because we already have the total shape of customized abutment. So uh, every step of superimposition and the merging steps is due to tender technician and CAD software. After that kind of procedure, the final process design is, will be very simple. So uh, recent, I made only one kind of slot in every case. Small side slot is more efficient than another shapes of slot. So uh, nowadays, when dental technician made the customized abutment or designed the customized abutment, I always ask them to make that kind of slot. So it, it is easy to superimpose in CAD software. So uh, you can see the write down pictures. You can see the definite margin after superimposition. So not recent, I don't worry about sub changeable margin because we can take a previous scan already and we can use that kind of information in the final processes, right? So anyway, uh, this is molar cases. So anyway, every case is I adapted that kind of procedure with uh, using the small slot in the upper side of the abutment. In this picture, you can detect the definite margin area that is located in sub gingivali So it's very easy to uh, take the margin portions. Every uh, case is similar. So I want to emphasize uh, this efficiency of this procedure. It's not your lower. You only have that kind of idea and then ask this technique uh, to the dental technician. So we proceeded various research about this procedure. This article is uh, accepted in International Journal of Prostodontics, Prostodontics recently. Anyway, we evaluated the clinical accuracy of implant abutment level impression technique using a digital superimposition of customized abutment. In, the, uh, in this technique, Digital impression data and pre-scanned abutment data are superimposed to reproduce the abutment's location and shapes on the CAD software. The result of this study show the clinical efficiency of this technique satisfying both convenience and clinically acceptable margin and internal fit. This is clinical study, so we are proceeding a long-term search. So after we get the long-term data, and then we, pub we will publish on our journal the result. This is second research with uh, Professor Hyun Jong Lee, and then submitted in Internet Journal Processes uh, this article in this month. Anyway, we compared according to scan area. That means uh, the control group has the poor scan data. Experimenter, uh, first experiment group was the scan data cannot uh, detect proximal area. Second experimental specimen uh, cannot. Uh, scanned the margin area sufficiently. So although we scanned insufficient 
but we wondered about the result of superimposition in this case. But the superimposed technique can be used clinically to fabricate implant processes since the error of technique is within the range of scanning errors, not only when the scan is complete, but also when proximal surfaces and margins of the customer abutment are scanned incompletely. So these studies are said to us, this procedure is very convenient, not too necessary to take complete scan in clinics. You have to scan only upper portion or some area that can superimpose each other. So it's very important, the factors in this procedure. I want to show only one cases and then I will finish it, okay? So this is poor mouse cases. When we treated that kind of cases, the impression is, will be very difficult because every implant maybe have the subgingival margin or they want to get the beautiful aesthetic processes. So anyway, not to make the side effect of the implant, we have to focus well pit processes. Right? After taking a pickup impression at the pixel level, I made the master model and the possible transpo and jaw relation were acquired and a temporal processes was used to mount the model to the articulator. The reason why I use the temporary bridges during three months is because I want to give the occlusal force to the abutment. I want to make the proper position of abutment and then also, I want to check the, the vertical dimension and comfortable of the chewing. We have to check everything stage of temporary processes, right? So based on the mounted model, customized abutment and temporary crown were uh, fabricated like this. Before the delivery of customized abutment, abutments were scanned using modern scanner and then saved as customized library data in CAD software. In these cases, we used ExoCAD software programs, but I know that uh, 3 shape program CAD software can uh, do like this. After delivery and all customized abutment, I could detect unclear margins of abutment caused by subgingival position. You can see the merged margin in many abutment. So if I didn't take a previous scan of customized abutment, the process of impression will be very hard and complicated. So after superimposition the custom abutment and then make the temporary bridges one more time. And then we induce the healing and uh, stabilization of the gingiver condition. After the adaptation period to the vertical and horizontal relation in the condition of temporary processes, the final impression was obtained only on the upper part of the abutment without inserting gingic cord at the abutment level. So, and a working model was processed. So anyway, because we use that kind of procedure, we can deduce the clinical time, okay? The margin is unclear by taking an impression without inserting gingic cord. You can see the unclear margin in the model scan data, but a pre-scanned customized about the library superimposed on the work model scan data. You can see it like this, uh, temperate margin like this. Anyway, I repeatedly emphasize the efficiency of this skill. In order to fabricate the final processes after the second temporary processes adaptation period, the final occlusion relationships was acquired based on the vertical occlusion height of the temporary processes and the working model was mounted on the articulator. After that time, we copied these temporary to the final processes. I want to skip that procedure because of time limitation. So anyway, uh, after duplication the temporary, we fabricated the final processes like this using zirconia, monolithic zirconia. The aesthetics and functions were evaluated by installing the maxillary mandible zirconia pix processes in the oral cavity. Mutual protective occlusion is formed with uniform contact point and both posterior teeth in the CR position. Okay, almost done. And recently, I'm developing a method of dielectric super in position the design the shape on the software instead of composing the library uh, by scanning the customized abutment that has been made. So, and I am testing it by applying a tool that makes a slot that facilitated a superimposition. 
after finishing that uh, developing that kind of procedure, the superimposition or impression technique will be very, very simple. So anyway, uh, because due to the development of CAD CAM systems and digital dentistry, every clinical procedure is simple and simple, more simple and simple. So anyway, I want to uh, finish my lecture uh, after the conclusion saying, the conventional implant abutment level impression with gingival retraction technique can cause side effects such, about, such as gingival recession and breathing. In order to overcome these problems, an impression technique using digital superimposition of the customized abutments is newly introduced and then used in our university broadly. In this technique, digital impression data and pre-scanned abutment data are superimposed to reproduce the abutment's location and shape on a CAD software. The result from the, my lecture and our research showed the clinical efficiency of this technique, satisfying both convenience and clinically acceptable margin and internal fit. So today, my lecture is very simple. I emphasized only one factor in aspect of digital impressions. So anyway, have a good time and enjoy our PNU Digital Dentistry Symposium. Thank you so much.